Giddy up! A local ranch is looking to expand to keep up with its growing business. Our Kendall Clare shows us the grassroots efforts the young riders are making to build their new space. Anna Willenbaker is working hard to make Better Days Ranch better. Willenbaker started the business in 2020, which currently offers hour-long horse riding lessons. We've started up a lot of lesson students from scratch that have never ridden before. And that is probably my favorite thing is to get kids into riding and to see kind of the work ethic that it builds for the kids as well. The business really took off during the pandemic. Will and Baker went from training 15 students a week to 60 and as a result decided to lease a property with a large barn. A year ago, um, it was it was clear that it was time to make the move home. We wanted to start working on something more permanent on our home property that would that would be permanent for, for the rest of our life. But moving back home meant reducing the number of horses and students and downsizing from a covered arena to a small round pen. There you go. The kids she teaches don't have enough room in the pen to practice their more advanced skills. And with no covered area, their training is weather dependent. I'd rather skip school and like come here every day. That's why Will and Baker is working on raising the funds to build a new 50 by 100 foot covered arena. Will and Baker and her students have been hosting Halloween trail rides to raise money for the project. Before I like rode horses, I was kind of like, I didn't know that they were like so scared. I thought they were just like big animals and they were tough, but no. The hope is to start construction by the beginning of next summer so that the ranch can become a year round operation by the end of 2025. I believe that that power that the horses have, I've seen it with, with the kids, with us adults, with myself throughout my life. And they're able to kind of bring a little bit of a, a calm sense to us all. Um, they're able to instill work ethic, like I said. Trail rides will continue Fridays and Saturdays through the end of October. I'm Kendall Clare in Addison for Channel 3 News.